Hello friends, this video on polynomials part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. And let's understand polynomial of one variable in little detail. Okay. So for example, a polynomial of one variable can be x square plus 2x plus 3. Is this a polynomial of one variable? Let's check. First check it is polynomial or not. For polynomial it has to have variables or constant. It has variables. It has constant, true. The exponent power has to be whole number. Exponent power is 2, exponent power is 1. These are whole number, yes. So it is a polynomial. Let's take if it is one variable. The only variable is x. The only variable is x. Since the only variable is x, it is one variable polynomial. So it is polynomial in one variable. This statement is true. Let's see terms and coefficients. You see, there are three terms here. x square is one term, 2x is one term, and 3 is one term. So there are three terms. Okay. If you take, let's suppose, 4x cube plus 3x square plus 2x plus 8. So it has four terms 4x cube, 3x square, 2x, and 8. So it will have if you talk about the expression x5 plus 9, it will have two terms. Okay. Now each term, each term, each of these terms will have coefficient. For example, if you talk about 2x, the coefficient is 2. If you talk about 3, 3 is nothing but 3 into x to the power 0. So the coefficient is 3. If you talk about 1x square x square that is nothing but 1 into x square. So coefficient is 1. So these are coefficient. Here also is 1x5, 9x to the power 0. So coefficient is 1, coefficient is 9. Here coefficient is 4 for 4x cube, coefficient for 3x square is 3, coefficient for 2x is 2, coefficient for 8x is 8. Let's take one more example. So let's take x 3x cube minus 2x square minus 7. So here the terms are 3x cube minus 2x square and minus 7. So if you talk about coefficient of these, this is 3x square coefficient is 3, minus 2x square coefficient is minus 2, minus 7 x to the power 0, x to the power 0 is 1. Coefficient is minus 7. Please note the negative signs here. Okay, so first we find the terms and each terms will have coefficients, right? The constant part typically is the coefficients. And please take care of negative signs as well. So if it is minus 2x squared, the coefficient also has minus sign. Okay, so this is coefficients. So the polynomial consists of terms and each terms will have coefficients. So when you say terms and then you say coefficient of terms, okay. Now let's understand a new concept, zero polynomial. See zero is a very powerful number. Multiply zero with any number, you get zero, right? It's a very powerful number. In fact, zero multiply with any x, you get zero. So you will not be able to under get back this number. If you multiply any number with 0, you will not be able to get back the number. For example, if you multiply 1 with x and you get x. You multiply 2 with x, you get 2x. So knowing this output and knowing the number you have multiplied, you can get back number x back. But if you multiply x with 0, it is very difficult. For example, 0 into 5 is 0. 0 into 8 is 0. 0 into 9 is 0. Right? So you multiply some number with 0, it is destroyed. You can't even get it back. It's a very powerful number. And we have seen that Arabata has given this number 0 to the world and this is a very powerful number. Now the question is, is 0 a polynomial? Think. See, I told polynomial is something which has constant and variables. And exponent power is whole number. 
is zero a constant? Yes. Correct. And even if it is multiply with some number, we don't know, right? So, so let's because any constant is also polynomial. Uh, five is also polynomial. So zero is also polynomial. This is zero polynomial. Okay. If you talk about one, two, three, four, these are also polynomial, but these are constant polynomial. So you must be thinking why, what special about zero that they have a special number for zero polynomial. So we have seen whole number itself is created because the zero extra was added in the natural number set. Zero is a very powerful number and we'll see that. So zero is so special that we have a different segment for zero polynomial and zero is the only number in that. So zero is a polynomial and zero is called zero polynomial. Okay. And I'll explain you why. So we'll see some importance of zero polynomial, which is different from constant polynomial, right? Some people think why if zero is also a constant, why zero can also be part of constant polynomial, but zero is not a constant polynomial. Zero is a zero polynomial. And we'll talk about this, why. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality educational videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.